Hello, I'm Dr. Jose Geronimo, Senior Advisor for Women's Cancer at PATH. One of our primary goals is to bring innovation to cervical cancer screening and treatment and offer new hope to women living in the developing world. This map shows where women are dying of cervical cancer, the darker colored countries. For decades, United States, Europe, Canada, and Australia have been using pap smear for cervical cancer screening. As a result, we see that the cervical cancer deaths are very low in those countries. But pap smear is too complex to be used in the developing world, where 88% of cancer deaths occur. 240,000 mothers, aunts, sisters that are lost to their families every year. When cervical precancer is detected early, treatment is relatively inexpensive and low-tech and can be even provided in health facilities like this one with high cure rates. PATH, along with our partners in the Alliance for Cervical Cancer Prevention, have for years been training providers in the use of new visual methods for cervical cancer screening such as BIA, that works better than pap smear. PATH is committed to help countries introduce visual inspection at national scale because it will save life now, but also it will prepare the platform for future introduction of improved molecular tests. We are very excited about that future. PATH is currently partnering with several companies to develop new alternative, more sensitive tests to be used in low resource settings, even in very simple labs. One of the new tests detects the infection with some types of human papillomavirus, or HPV, that is associated with most of the cases of precancer and cancer. This new test provides a result in few hours and no weeks like pap smear. This test is also less technologically complex and less expensive than pap smear. The care HPV DNA test from Kaijin is about twice as sensitive as pap smear for detecting women at risk for developing precancer and cancer. This is particularly important in low resource settings since women there may be screened only once or twice in their lifetimes. Usually physicians collect a sample of mucus from the uterine cervix for care HPV. But recent studies have shown that even samples self-collected by women with our pelvic evaluation have good results. This is important as this option can make screening more attractive to more women. Another new strategy is to create a test capable of detecting markers from cells that are becoming precancerous or are in their way to cancer. By identifying those women who actually have precancer, very precious healthcare resources can be focused only in those who need treatment. The Arbor Vita E6 test is intended for use in health facilities with limited laboratories. Preliminary results are very promising, showing good sensitivity and very high specificity. At PATH, we have been working on cervical cancer prevention for over 20 years. Now, with new screening options and a safe and effective HPV vaccine, we see great potential for bringing protection to women no matter where they live. We look forward to the day when cervical cancer death in developing countries will be reduced to the low rates that are already seen in wealthier countries. For more information about past work in women's cancer, care HPV, or the E6 test, please visit us at the PATH website or the raw cervical cancer library.